I'm a skeptic about photo booths in 2019. Photo Booth Expo just happened and it was a huge success. People went, they had a good time. I guess the vendors were just everywhere and they had a great year. I was talking to somebody who was there and they were saying how wonderful it was, how people were just buying all kinds of stuff. And there were people doing raffles and it was exciting and there were a lot of new ideas and there was a Tesla there with a photo booth in it and there was a Volkswagen Beetle there with a photo booth in it. And I wonder if that was Sid Vanderpool. I know he's got one of those. But there was a lot of excitement about this and people are very excited about photo booths. It's something that's kind of related to our industry because we're already marketing and, and doing performances for people who would do something like hire a photo booth, like a wedding or a party or whatever. And we got one. We got one back in 2011. We made our money back really fast, but that was 2011. I'm trying to figure out how you can make money at a photo booth in 2019. And I'm not trying to be the bad guy here. I really am looking for a business plan or numbers to show me a profit with a photo booth business in 2019. I was just talking to somebody the other day who was very excited about the mirror booth they have. And they're getting $1,500 every time this mirror booth goes out. And the first reaction I have is, wow, that's pretty good. Have you ran the numbers on that? He said, well, no, let's do it together. So we figured it out. And to make a long story short, the profit on this was less than $200 per event. And we weren't even adding the possibility of this $150 photo booth attendant not being technically um, wise enough to problem solve. And we didn't figure out the printers breaking and having to be replaced because that is a real thing. It does happen. Happened to me. <laughs> so I know it's a real thing. If your printer breaks late on your last session on a Saturday night, it's not a big deal. But the thing is, is that you can't go to Walmart and buy a new one. You have to order one and you can't ship your old one out and get it back in time for your next event. So you're stuck buying a brand new $1,200 printer, whether you want to or not, to gig the following weekend. I need to see a business plan on this. If somebody has a real business plan where they've actually added up the numbers of running the business, plus the booth, and show me a profit, I'd love to see it. You know, not counting those refunds or anything else. Let's pretend there's never a refund on a photo booth. And anybody who runs a photo booth company knows that that isn't even the case. There's, there's refunds that happen. Let's pretend that never happens and still show me a profit on these photo booths. And if you can show me that, I'm on board and I'll be a photo booth guy from now on and I'll reinvest in a photo booth. But until I see that, I'm a skeptic. That's it. That's my video. And I don't mean to be the bad guy here. I'm just curious. Practice and enjoy.